Hey everyone, welcome back. So in the last video, we have configured our Cypress and we were able to launch the Cypress app. And this is the app layout that you will see. Now from here, we will basically begin the journey of writing the test cases, right? So basically now as the SDET, we'll be going through the end-to-end -end testing. Component testing is more for the development or developer and individually testing the components. So for example, there is a screen and on a particular screen that has been developed, developer wants to test individual components or the text boxes, the error messages specifically, right? So that's more for the isolation or the isolating a particular component or a screen and then testing it, right? Now, end-to-end -end testing is what as a tester, as a SDET, we'll be going ahead and using okay so this is as you see that this is not configured at the moment right so what we have seen in the last video was basically step one was the prerequisite we understood about installing we got the id visual studio code then we installed the cypress uh, we created a project folder right we initialized it then we installed the cypress which installed uh, the all dependencies and it's all automatic basically we just have to run this command right and then we opened the cypress app with the command npx cypress open this is all we have done and that opened up this particular portal. Now we'll select which particular testing type. So basically as is that we'll do end to end and then click on that and it will start doing the configuration. Okay, so you'll see by default, the configuration files with the default configuration will get added automatically. Okay, so as of now, I won't change anything as in here. Okay, let's go ahead and click on continue. Okay, we'll understand all of this later. Well, as we move further, I do not want to complicate things in the initial phases. So you are able to set up and run the test case pretty fast. Okay, so we'll go ahead and click on continue and then it will pop up the browser selection. Okay, so based on what browsers are available on your machine, it will detect and it will show you the correct version. Basically, now from here, you can choose which browser you want to execute your test cases on right now this is not final configuration as such you can change the browser selection later as well and read on your script in different browsers okay for now let's quickly keep chrome selected and click on start end-to-end -end testing in chrome i'll click on that and as soon as you'll click on chrome and then proceed further you'll see that there is a web page that has opened okay and which will have your specs okay so when we say specs in cypress it is basically you can say these are the test cases that you document right so by default you can you know go ahead from this ui itself right and here is what i was telling about that you can select the browsers later as well from this drop down right so if i want to execute the test in edge or electron or uh, firefox i can choose that okay now electron is the browser which comes by default within uh, cypress so you can basically and it's mostly for just for testing so you can execute your test cases on electron as well now here we will go ahead and create our first spec or when we say spec it's a test case right so you can go ahead and create a new spec directly from this ui okay and we'll click on create new spec and you will see that it will specify where exactly the spec will be created right so you'll see that it automatically picked up the e2e folder and then spec.cy.js okay so that cy.js is an extension that will be taken up for the test right i if i want to ch change it i can say okay test all right and then you have to have the cy.js because this is javascript test right so then it will be a valid if you just so if i say for example if i just say dot js it won't be recognized it's not a valid spec file okay so you have to make sure that you do cy.js okay and whatever name you want to specify you can specify that so i have just said okay test let's say test test1.cy.js and this is just a sample test that will get created okay so i'll say create spec and by default you'll see that it has the description or basically the layout of the test that is available and this is the format of test the, how you are going to write the test right and these are the keywords so describe it and uh, then uh, describe and it are the keywords so how or where they come from so they come from the mocha and chai libraries that cypress by default builds on okay so i'll explain all of that but then these are the uh, keywords that are utilized when you are writing the test case right so this is the name of the test okay and we'll edit it in the visual studio code okay so let me i don't want to run this spec as of now okay i'll simply go ahead and close it all right and now you'll see that this test1.cy.js is available here and if we go to our visual studio code as well 
okay and go to cypress you will see in the e2e test1.cy.js right so i utilized the ui that is present okay to basically create the test right so this is the ui that i utilized to create the test all right i can create another new spec directly from here new test directly from this ui or from visual studio code we can go ahead and add new file and name it as .cy.js and start writing the test case right so i can say from here i'll change the name of the test so i'll say first test okay and then what exactly it is doing it is just opening this example.cypress.io okay just that page i'll save it and then go to the ui here and in order to run this particular test you simply have to click on the test okay and then it will start doing the execution so you'll see the test is loading and here in the right hand side you'll see the chrome selected and the resolution okay so this is the issue that you might face if you have the firewall or uh, basically the antivirus installed on your machine okay so what this uh, the antivirus that i have uh, is uh, detecting the way cypress is trying to uh, communicate now in order to do or avoid this you have to do some configuration in your firewall okay and what those configurations are i'll cover in the next video but as of now i'll simply go ahead and click on show detail and i'll say i understand the risk and i wish to continue and then simply go ahead and you'll see that, that it that it will go ahead and execute that particular test, test right so i'll say click on again and now because i have provided the permission for this particular page you'll see that in the right hand side it has opened the example.cypress.io window in the right hand side okay so this is kind of the first setup and the page that gets launched into your Chrome browser. Now, if I want to execute on Edge, say for example, I select Edge from the dropdown and it will open the spec in the Edge browser. It's executing the test, right? Again, in the Edge, it will throw this error until I, unless I go ahead and do the configuration in my firewall. Okay, I'll say yes. And this issue is because of the certificate because I'm navigating this HTTPS, which is secure channel. And that's where the Cypress handles that internally. So you'll see that it has executed on the Edge version that I have on my. Okay, so very simple test case, just out of the box test case that we have been able to execute with the Cypress UI at the moment. Okay, in the next video, I'll write a complete end to end test case in Cypress. Okay, and then also show you how you can avoid this antivirus error or firewall error that you might get if you have the antivirus installed on your machine okay so that's all for this particular video i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching